Welcome back to our third installment of our, uh, is this the third? Yeah, this third. Why did we say it was going to be five? Because we have two more. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. helmets and then. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, our third installment of our five-part series. Um, this one will be on chest rigs, just like the last two. We're going to go over our equipment and then we'll talk as to why we have what we have. Um, I started the, uh, or no, you started the belt one, so I'm going to start this one. Okay. Um, we're both running Ferro Concepts Slickers. This is a really awkward angle. I'm going to tilt it up a little bit. Um, Ferro Concepts Slickers. Um, basically the same exact thing. Mine's just tan. Logan's is and OD. I have a little dump pouch, but of course that can come off. No, it's not a dump pouch, it's a um, kangaroo pouch. Um, so I'm running a Ferro Concepts, just the, the three mag with the uh, Haley Strategic inserts, Kydex. Um, uh, I mean, from, we'll do from front to side. I'm running the Cumberbund with an extra mag, and there's nothing slick on the back. Um, extra mag here, comms right here. We both have the same Baofeng radios wired through to PTTs um, so that we can communicate with each other. We are yet to get proper um, headsets so that we can do it without it blaring to everyone else, but that's later. Um, like I said, I have a little kangaroo pouch. It just works as an admin pouch. I can keep my notepad and my pens and my Snickers bar and you know whatever in, in the pouch. It also has extra Velcro because morale patches are life. Um, like I said, slick on the back. The reason I bought the Slickster is because I can, not very quickly, but I can do it, um, I can completely dress this down, of course I'd have to take the comms and this off, to where this is completely slick and I can conceal this completely under a button-up shirt. Another thing to add is we're both running soft body armor. Yes. I don't know if you added that, I but um, we're both running Spartan armor. Um, 3A. 3A. Uh, just for so that's the only gotta stop up to a 44 magnum but the reason we do that is because you we wanted it to be concealable under a button-up shirt yeah sometimes was, sometimes you want to run bulletproof armor depending on the situation running. discreetly yes. you know not blaring it to everyone else um, I've just been in major cities and I had a button-up shirt on I had this on under it and no one would be the wiser um, one other thing mine does have the shoulder pads which I don't really think they're necessary, but I guess they're mine is not. a nice addition. So that's it for mine. Um, Logan's is similar, but he does have it a little bit set up differently. Oh, I got a med kit. Uh, so this is uh, from one of the classes that we took. Um, it's got a uh, Israeli bandage. I picked a six, uh, six inch. Um, it does have a nasal pharyngeal trumpet and a... Uh, decompression needle as well as long as as well as tape so what I was told is that this this uh, bandage wrapper um, has been used uh, in conjunction with the tape as a chest seal uh, chest seals are huge um, in combat and any type of engagement to have uh, it can be almost anything like a ziploc baggie would work and tape uh, uh, just because if you get any any puncture wound to the chest cavity anywhere with you can't the, tourniquet that off. You can't you can't you can't bandage it. You don't stuff it with anything. It's sucking. It's sucking air into your chest and collapsing your lungs. It's not cool. Uh, tourniquet on here. <laughs> it's not cool. Um, let's see. I've got the Spirit of Systems uh, microfight micro chest rig here. Same thing as Landon's comes off. Uh, it does come off with. Uh, Quick clips or whatever. Oh, yeah, his is much quicker than mine. Um, so I can run it slick like Lena's. Uh, two mags. Uh, two mags over here. So total of four. Um, and then I have my SE4 here. Uh, just for poops and gigs, basically. Uh, I do have in here, uh, I have a Leatherman Wave. Uh, I carry one on me in my pocket anyways. But this one, uh, just to have an extra kind of redundancy couple of batteries for my flashlights, a lighter, a uh, handkerchief, and a small pocket knife, dummy corded to the chest rig, just for, that's smart. 
Because you could use it and you could just drop it and let it dangle and while you're. Yeah. So, um, and then also my comms in the back. He's um, got the cool, the cool person antenna that like bends and it's like, yeah, it looks nice, but it's also so, more effective. We did test it and it's pretty handy. It does go farther. So, so same with Lane and uh, it's push routed, talk. Calmed, or the comms are routed through wired the PTT. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much. Um, and then we so both have uh, Mandalorian because this is the way. This is the way. Um, so as far as why we own plate carriers, like I said, body armor is the main reason. You can get chest rigs. Um, I said we were going to touch on that. You can get chest rigs that are just a cummerbund and. And basically, this this could this personally this thing could be a chest rig. And yeah. if, like you if I got the if this. I got the harness set for this, this could be a chest rig. So. It depends on what you want to do. What the objective that I, for me owning a plate carrier was not to carry more stuff. That's why I bought the belt, the belt that we did a video on. Oh, I was pointing down there. It's on me. Because um, the belt holds everything that this chest rig could hold, basically. Yes, and you it's could put to get to. Yeah, um, you could put could, your comms. You could put everything in the chest rig or on your belt. But the cool thing about body armor is that it stops bullets. Yeah. And if you already have that on you, you might as well, we wanted to keep it very streamlined, but you might as well add some stuff on it for convenience. Mm -hmm. You know, have your PTT up here, have some spare mags that, you know, they're not going to be quick, but say you use this one and you're in a, a period where it's not, you know, as hot and you can restock, restock your, your, um, because, because like you said, this isn't going to be as quick to reload from. It's, it's just common knowledge or it's not common knowledge, but it's just. It's just facts. And it's not going to be as quick to to reload from your chest rig just because it's you have to bend your it's too many angles. Whereas this back here is going to be a lot quicker to re on. to reload into your rifle. So the big thing about having more bullets on you is to restock your belt for yeah. for quick reloads. Back, so but reloads. Basically, the only main reason we bought these is because it, it provides a level of protection. That is the ultimate goal. There's just space on them that you can add some things that help um, supplement your other gear. Um, like I said, the goal was to keep them very streamlined where you can still go prone. You can still move freely. These do not ride very low. They are. It stops about where my rib cage stops. And we do not run side body armor. Yeah, we don't have side body armor. So. But the goal with these, like I said, is that you can you can take all this stuff off, leave the cummerbund. I can carry a mag and a um, med kit under my armpit because I mean your shirt drapes under your armpits and you can conceal a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, just like if you're a big burly dude with like a giant chest, you could conceal an appendix holster much better than like if you're me, a little skinny dude, that it, it sticks out a lot worse. Your your armpits are good at hiding things, so that's why the Cumberbund is a beautiful design, is because I can wear this under button up and get away with carrying 60, 90 rounds with a med kit. Mm -hmm. um, and no one would know because the front is completely slick. Um, like I said, you have to take all this off. You take the shoulder pads off, take the comms off. Everything would come off, and it's completely concealable. But it's just a good thing to be able to stop bullets because bullets entering your chest are not good. No bueno. Um, or knives. These stop knives too. Yeah, they're also they're Kevlar, so they were slash resistant. Um, I mean stab resistant to a degree. They're going to help with that. Not much, but they will help a little bit. I think they, I mean, uh, you can stab Kevlar. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's going to help a lot. Um, it's going to help a lot. But, um, I mean, there's not much to say about it other than that getting shot sucks. And if you can avoid it, it's still going to hurt really bad to get shot with the, these on. That's why it'd be better to have hard armor. Also, because you can stop rifle rounds. Um, Logan Which, and I aren't, like, loaded or anything, so... We started with the soft armor. Our goal is to work our way up to buy proper ceramic plates that can stop rifle rounds. This was just the first iteration. And I would add, um, don't don't start out with uh, AR five hundred steel plates. Any steel I did plates. I did get the uh, Spartan armor steel plates in the beginning. I ended up selling them because they were twenty pounds. Uh, twenty pounds didn't sound like a whole lot. And some may make fun of me because I didn't want to carry around you 20 pounds, but there's 10, 10 in the front, 10 in the back. Try, and try that's just, thinking of strapping 
a whole entire sack of potatoes on the front of you and strapping a whole nother sack of potatoes on the back of you. That's just a lot. Plus everything else, and it just wasn't... It was, it was decreasing mobility. So the ceramic plates weigh far less. Weigh like five pounds a piece, maybe? If that. I want to say a little less, maybe. But Yeah, so that's the plan, is to get ceramic plates eventually, just because the increase in protection and increase in mobility. Yeah. Um, don't don't spend your money on AR five hundred steel plates. Just, Even are, if it is a good company like Spartan Armor, they work. They work. They do. But these are not much more, and they granted they don't stop as much, but they are very comfortable. They are you know somewhat flexible, but they're rigid enough to you know keep the the form. Um, and you can still use these once you get ceramic plates, trauma pads mm -hmm. to reduce impact. They will also help with spalling, help with spalling and stuff. So, yeah, don't don't start with steel. You know, start if you have the money, you can start with rifle rated ceramic. You can conceal ceramic. Like I said, they're just kind of expensive, so we didn't start there. Um, but start with what you can. Like I said, if you wanted, you could start with just a something like this. If your goal was to just carry more equipment, but look into it just because. Um, like uh, T-Rex Arms, they just came out with a new chest rig, the AC-1, or not the AC-1, the, uh, what is it called? Brady rig. Yeah. Um, it does, isn't, isn't necessarily compatible, they did show a video, it is semi-compatible with uh, like a body armor, but look into your chest rig, make sure it is compatible with the body armor or the plate carrier that you want to get. Yeah. Um, just like we said in the last video, look into what you want in the long run and kind of work towards it. That's what we've done. We've got started out small, say you, you got money for just the chest rig. Buy the chest rig, make sure that it's that it's compatible with the the plate carrier yeah. that you want to get in. But our recommendation is focus your money on stopping bullets. If you're gonna once you get the other previous videos that we made, you know the rifle, the belt belt setup your goal is just to help stop bullets. And the chest rig is nice, it's a good addition, but... Make holes, plug holes, stop holes. Yeah, that's your three things. So that's our plate uh, carriers and our setups, that's why we have them. And uh, we'll be back with, uh, uh, I think we got two more installments. Um, the next one will be on helmets, which is kind of a specialized thing, but we'll talk about our helmets and our setups. So uh, thank you, we'll see you later.